Anna Ruarquistas, and I am the founder and director of Earth Path Education. And I'm so excited to be here to share about our new adult women's program called Women Rewilding. And what I mean when I say rewilding is really a remembrance and a remembering of our original selves, our true natures. And that remembering as becoming the member that we are of this bigger web of life and a conscious member that knows how to give and receive in a way that's beautiful and life-giving. And so we're going to be doing earth skills as ways of awakening that true self. So I believe that all of this is in our DNA. We know how to track. We know what plants are edible and are good medicine for us. And so in doing some of these physical ceremonies that our ancestors, no matter where they came from, have been doing for thousands of years, like the making of ancient fire, when we're doing that, there's something in us that wakes up and remembers this time of being in optimal nourishment with, within our bodies and also with all beings in the human and non-human world, the more than human world, the plants, the animals, the waters, the elements. So one of the earth skills we're gonna be working with this year is ancient fire making, both with hand drill and with bow drill. And so I feel like the, the first time you make a coal from friction fire, I know for me was one of the best moments of my life because it's that learning to bring the divine masculine and the divine feminine together with the perfect friction in a way that makes life. And that all, all the people that we came from knew how to do this skill. They knew how to tend to the fire. And in tending to the fire, we also tend to our passions. Another thing we're gonna be doing this year is making our own shoes. So you'll see I'm wearing, these, this is a southeastern style of moccasins. And I love being able to work with the awls to sew the leather, which is another ancestral skill that people all over the world, many cultures, we all know how to work with, our, with animals. And so this really allows you these shoes to walk with the earth and walk in balance and walk with more care. Um, we're all trying to walk with more care these days. Um, we're gonna be listening to the plants and taking time to slow down and hear the song and the story of the plants. And we're gonna be harvesting plants for food and also for medicine. This is some mullein here and some salves that I've made. So we'll be in that cycle of, of life and death with the plants, of harvesting the seeds and um, what I like to call tending to the forest, because there's so many foods and medicines right here in the forest um, that when we interact in a healthy way, we can actually bring health to the forest as well as receiving this optimal nourishment from the plants. We're also the part of the ceremonial arts, which is the beauty way of making feather fans, and we're gonna be focusing on making music, and we'll be making a frame drum. So this is mine here, this is with elk. I'll just let you hear it. way to journey and to go into meditation and we'll be honoring the elements so one of the things we're going to do together is uh, walk on the fire the coals of the fire and really sing to the waters and welcome these elemental presences and to our lives and so we're also going to be working with the element of earth um, and the plant beings to make this plant impression pottery that we'll eat throughout the year. We'll eat on our, our bowls that we've made. And I want to underline the importance of being with other women. I know it's one of the best parts of my life is, is having sisterhood. 
And so we're going to be going through these four weekends where we'll go, we'll move around the medicine wheel, starting in the west in the fall, the north in the winter, the east in the spring, and the south in the summer. So for one year, we're going to travel around the medicine wheel with a group of women, a group of sisters. And we're going to also reawaken that sisterhood and that knowing of how to support one another on this path of, of rewilding. And I think that's all I'm going to share for now. So I'll, I'll just close with a song. And thank you so much for being with me. Breathe in the air, invoke the water, honor the earth, and burn with the fire. Breathe in the air, invoke the water, honor the earth, and burn with the fire. Breathe in the air, invoke the water.